Hello friends, it's Jackie Ballhuis from Clump and Stampers. Today I am so excited to share with you the Trucking Along stamp set. I had a blast with all the parts and pieces that go in the back of that truck, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put it all together and how it all works together. So let's flip the camera down and let's get right to work because I, I love these cards I'm gonna share with you. So hold on one second. I have to tell you, I've had more fun making my cards with the stamp set than any stamp set I have in a long time that has lots of parts and pieces. I'm generally not a parts and pieces because I always think it takes too long and it's too putsy, but this one's not. And I have some great tips to share with you how to best get these images into the back of the truck. I've got a real easy way to do it for you. But now before we do that, I want to show, because I was a little overwhelmed when I looked at this, and then I started realizing how these pieces all go together. There's two images, clouds, trees, the palm tree, our presence. It's a two-step stamp. Now you can see here, I did some kind of playing on scrap paper. So we have the outlines, and then we have the, what I call the color in piece. So these images, when you stamp on top of it, it will color in those images. Now I went a step further on some of them and I took my Stampin' Blends and colored it a little bit more. Because you can see here, we just get the palm trees. So I wanted to add a little more color or a second color on my present. And some green, we use some granny apple green and then some smoky slate here, I think it was, or yeah, smoky slate. So it just gives you more color. Certainly could leave it like that or take one step. Now with the truck, you've got the outline, you've got the body colored part of it, the wheels, and then you can even put the little wooden rails on the back side. Now, I do know this punch is not available any longer. Um, we're hoping the end of October, but to be honest, I feel like the stamp set really stands alone. You don't need that punch. You can do so many fun things with this. And if you really, really want this image um, cut out and popped up or something, it would be super easy to fussy cut. Now, I wanna share, like I said, some tips for how I get my images in the back of the truck, the easy way. Now you could do some masking, um, that's one version, but what I found works best for me is I actually start by stamping the image that goes, the image that's going into the back of the truck. And we're going to stamp it on a piece that I know I'm going to cut down. I'm starting a little bit bigger on purpose because it just, works better for me, to be honest. So we're gonna go ahead, that's what's going into the back of my truck. So I stamped that in black, and now I'm gonna come in and stamp my truck. Because if you put your head right over it, now hopefully you don't get the top of my head in here, we'll see if I can do this without being right over it. But it's really pretty easy to line that truck up, the line of it with the bottom of the image. And it works perfectly with all of these. See how nice and straight the bottoms are? So that was like easy peasy. Now for our little flowers there, let's, and I never remember which one's which, and it really doesn't matter a whole lot. We're gonna come in and add some flower into the back um, to put some color there. And then for our truck, we're gonna go ahead and we've got crushed curry on this one. And once again, I need to kind of have my head straight over it. But you can see as I'm holding it, there are, well, let's stamp it here so you can see better. You can see how there's white lines above each wheel, um, what do they call it, wheel well, fender, I don't know, <laughs> and the, the top as well. So those are the lines. When I'm stamping this, I'm actually lining those up to be right above those fenders, right below the top line. I also looked at like the bottom, 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 bottom left, bottom right, and bam, I got that one pretty good without my head even straight over it. So it does stamp really simple. Now a little trick with the wheels, because there is one stamp, you can see here that has both of them on. Now what I found, because this stamp can be a little wonky, I mean you could easily get it kind of off on your block, so I like to lay it down so it's kind of in its natural state, and then pick it up with my block. That will ensure that it's straight and that it's going to fit those wheels. And then I found the easiest thing to do is to line up the little dots. And if I do that, I can generally nail it pretty good each time. So 
there is our truck with the three little containers of flowers in the back. Um, now for this one, I'm gonna just bring in these smoky slate and we're gonna color in the little buckets there. Now again, you wouldn't have to do that, um, but I think it just adds a little bit. Ooh, I got a little smear there. Hopefully when I cut this down, that won't show. Um, so there we go. There's our flowers in there. Now, before I cut this out, I'm gonna take my crumb cake. We don't want this truck just like floating in midair. So we're gonna use the stamp, I don't know what they call that, like a ground piece. And we're gonna stamp it a couple of times here. Let's go like right under that tire. And then we'll stamp a couple more to get some different colors in there. Under that one. And then if you want to even get a little bit up in there higher, you can do that. You know, play around with it, different shades. The more you stamp it, you get some different shades in there. So there's our truck just tootling down the road. Now, you could go ahead and cut this out with any die, or you could even just take your paper trimmer and cut it. But, you know, the whole idea was to start bigger, stamp, and then cut it because it, otherwise it's kind of hard to start with that small image and then add the truck to it. So what I'm going to do is actually use one of the squares from the Stylus Shapes dies. So let me go cut this out and I will be right back. Okay, there we go. So there is our focal point of our card. Now, after I finish this one, I have five other ones to show you. So you can see like all the different options for what you can put in the back of that truck. And then let's go ahead and take one of the greetings. Now, the fun thing about this truck, it does have greetings in it. But to be honest, you could use any greetings. If you wanted to make this a happy birthday, happy Mother's Day, thinking of you, it could be anything. Just add whatever greeting you want on there. But I thought I'm going to just use one from the stamp set for this. So we're going to say sending you some sunny thoughts. Now, let's go ahead and also throw in a couple clouds. Now, with this balmy blue, I felt it was just a little bit too dark. So I like to stamp it on scrap paper, and then we'll stamp a couple of clouds here. And then I even do on scrap paper once, twice, and put in a couple more, just to get some different shades in there. And there we go. There is our little truck, our focal image, so we can finish up our card. Now, this little piece, I think it measures about two and three quarter inch square. Um, so I have a piece of black. Let's see if I remembered and cut it right. I think so. So um, I will have a blog post that will have all the details on these cards. Come on, let's work here, glue. And um, you can find the link down in the video description. And I will have pictures of this card along with the other four. So five all together, um, along with all my measurements and the list of supplies and colors and all that fun stuff. And also the link to order this really fun stamp set um, if you would like to place an order. So there's that focal image. Now to finish up our card, I did this ahead of time. I have just a piece of basic white and I ran it through my cut and emboss with the um, exposed brick, I think they call this embossing folder. So again, I'll list all the exact names on the website. So check out that link to get over there. Um, but I thought this gave the front of this card some really nice texture. Um, I'm all about textures. You know, images and layers and all that stuff can be super simple. But once you add some texture, that's the wow part of your card. And then, of course, we need dimensionals. So let's flip that over pop on some dimensionals, and we are just about done. And then I can show you the other ones I made as well. Can you tell I had fun with the stamp set? So we can put that on there just like that, and I'm gonna stop right there. No linen thread, no embellishments, nothing. It just makes a cute card, that truck just pops on there. Now, when I was playing with this stamp set prior to recording this video, I actually use this exact same layout with every image in, I think every, almost every image in our stamp set. And so there is our Christmas tree in the back and all the greetings are from the stamp set that I use here. But remember, you could use anything. Have a fresh start or every day is a fresh start. You can see there's those little sunflowers and then the presents and their little beach scene. 
but every card's made the same way. And then I couldn't decide when I started, do I like the crumb cake or the basic white? So I did some of each. Um, <laughs> now, none of these did I use the rails because I put all the stuff in it, but I could easily, I should really make another one with nothing in the back and just put the rails on there. And you can also see here how I did color um, the part that wasn't the same. The presents I didn't, I left them just how it is with the black and the one stamp on top. And that looks adorable that way as well. So I hope you like these tips for stamping the truck and all the little parts and pieces that go in the back of it. It's a fun stamp set and it would be perfect for masculine cards or really cards for anyone for any occasion. So make sure you check out the blog post for all the details, pictures of these. I'll even give you all my measurements and all the colors and supplies that I use. So as always, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We're here to help you answer your questions, and we'd love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Until I stamp again, have a stamp happy day.